Well, it was more about kind of creating the feeling that the show gave me when I watched it. Because it's like, it's not something you can, it was such a unique phenomenon, this soap opera on during the day. I mean, that's part of what its energy was. So that's kind of hard to translate to a movie. So what became important then to me was to try to give the feeling of what I remember about the show. I mean, obviously the show was very serious. We tried to treat this serious. We didn't make it campy or anything. There's, there's more humor in this. But tried to let the humor become more situational and based on the fact that, you know, this guy's been locked away for 200 years and how we relate to things. So, it, it, but the spirit, the kind of soap opera acting, the style of acting, the kind of vibe of it, that was important to try to get from the original show. Because actually this one, more than most projects kind of came from him. You know, he, we, we talked about it for many years ago, you know, because we have a, a mutual love of weird cultural phenomenons, which Dark Shadows was, so we both loved the series. But it wasn't until later on that I kind of realized that Johnny, you know, was kind of, you know, as a child, I think, wanted to play Barnabas Collins. So, you know, it was something that was very specific to him, and I think a dream of his that was, you know, usually, Characters come from other places, but this is something he was reaching back that was important to him. Now that was a great surprise because obviously I hadn't worked with her since Catwoman, you know, and that just brought back how amazing I thought she was as that character. You know, she I remember going thinking she's very impressive, you know, dancing around rooftops on a High heels, cracking a whip, you know, letting live birds fly out of her mouth. Very impressive. And so to get this call and to find out she was a closet Dark Shadows fan, you know, and that she played the head of the family, you know, it made the it made the kind of trying to go for that kind of style easier because between the, be, me and Johnny and Michelle were the only people that, on the whole cast and crew who really knew what the show was. So it was very important and inspirational to have her on as Elizabeth. And again, because she was such a fan, I mean, she, I know Michelle would like watch Dark Shadows in the makeup trailer every morning, so she was even more hardcore than the rest of us. Well, it, it was a fair amount, but I mean, the sets were, they were elaborate, but they were contained. I mean, and it was important on this because it's much more actor driven and because the tone is so weird, it felt in the, in the Collins, the house is such an important character that, that we were able to build sets so that the actors, the crew, everybody could get into the spirit of it. Um, that was, and you know, we looked for fishing villages and other things as well, but you know, there was no main fishing villages even in Maine you know, that were like that. So, you know, Pinewood had the, you know, the structure of a big water tank and this area. So it actually made itself much more cost effective to actually just build it. It sounds more difficult, but it actually was, was cheaper and more cost effective. It's important you work with artists and that's part of the joy of filmmaking is you, you're painters and sculptors and, you know, that's, that's, that's a, a very important part of the film process for me.